a very good evening to my dear students so today we'll see a new set of series of uh, videos that is the practical part not only theory part i will be telling you i will be telling you the practical part also so today we'll see the second year uh, practical that is refractive index of glass lab which works on the principle of normal shift of your optics topic so what we have to do here is aim of the experiment to determine the refractive index of the glass lab using traveling microscope so we have to determine that refractive index of the glass lab okay now apparatus used in this experiment are traveling microscope a glass lab chalk dust and a paper and formula is refractive index of glass that is nga equal to real thickness of the glass slab upon apparent thickness of the slab that is real thickness of glass to uh, the for, uh, false thickness of the slab so where nga is the refractive index of the glass with respect to air principle behind this experiment is if a glass slab is placed in air on a horizontal surface and its bottom surface is viewed from uh, top it appears to be elevated due to the phenomenon of refraction the distance between this apparent bottom and the top surface of the glass slab gives the apparent thickness of the slab in case of normal observation it can be shown that the refractive index of the glass slab with respect to the medium and air is nga equal to real thickness of the slab by apparent thickness so this is the diagram for the glass lab experiment or the ray, digra ray diagram so a1 is the object here a2 is the image and the upper surface gives the chalk dust or the hair particles you can see this will be the glass slab and it is the eyepiece so here you see actual actually without the glass slab the point will be here we'll see the depth and if we keep a glass slab it seems to be raised a little right then we have to determine the thickness of the glass slab now let us see the procedure of the experiment first uh, first we'll find the least count so i will tell you how to take the least count so first we'll see in the traveling microscope value of 1 msd that is 0.05 so how we'll get this is by taking so in 1 cm of the uh, traveling microscope there will be 10 divisions so this will be taken as 1 upon no, sorry 20 divisions 1 upon 20 equal to 0.05 cm okay that's why we'll get here uh, the value of 1 msd as 1 0.05 cm next number of divisions on the vernier scale is 50 vernier scale is the short scale that is 50 and uh, at least count of the traveling microscope is s upon n so that is 0.05 upon 50 equal to 0.01 cm okay dear students here is the traveling microscope so we will do the experimental observations here so here you can see the uh, vertical uh, scale is there and the horizontal scale is there so we'll use only the vertical scale the scale has one uh, may msr and a short uh, side uh, scale is known as the vernier scale and this is the focus of the traveling microscope so we'll focus on the points of the graph sheet which is attached to the traveling microscope we uh, by some adjustment we can uh, view the lines or the mark made on the paper first so let us adjust the traveling microscope and focus on the points so i'm focusing here the points on the traveling microscope to see the
points and then we will take the readings the first reading that is in the observation book we have so for uh, one msr we have 5.65 in the traveling microscope and so in the observation book we will take the readings so i am taking here lc that is 1 upon 20 and 50 is the number of divisions in the vernier calipers so least count will be 0 0.01 0 0.001 centimeter then let us take the readings here in the traveling microscope so the first reading for the mark made on the paper will be mark made on the paper will be 5.65 i got and the main scale reading is so vsr is 30 so this is our laboratory 5.65 is the main scale reading then vsr is 30 so once more i am going to see here vsr clearly vsr is the vernier scale division that is the vernier scale and the main scale should coincide so that division we have to check and write the vsr vernier scale reading vsr is the vernier scale reading and write down it as 30 n is 30 and here a1 total reading will be equal to m plus n into lc is the formula and we get 5.68 and secondly we will take the mark on the paper mark on paper through the glass lab so refractive index changes here so we will adjust again so due to the glass lab the image will be seen very blur and when we move it upwards by seeing through the uh, microscope we have to observe it and uh, focus it clearly and again take the readings there so that will get as 6.25 main scale reading is 6.25 i got and the vernier scale reading is 5 so total reading i got it as a2 is 6.255 and lastly particles on the glass lab so i have put some dust particles on the glass lab now we have to focus the dust particles on the glass lab that will be the third reading a3 reading so we'll get 7.5 and vsr is 30 so total reading for a3 is equal to 7.53 so we get answer as 1.85 a3 minus a1 upon a3 minus a2 is 1.85 divided by 1.275 so what we get is the ratio as so i am writing here after subtracting a3 minus a1 and a3 minus a2 and ratio what we get is 1.45 the ratio i got is 1.45